Dead Meme. Hey there, guys. It's your friend Dead Meme. I received a message on Steam not too long ago. Uh, someone asked me in one of the videos, how do I get these pretty ships? Um, like, am I designing those? No, I am not. I am far from any sort of artist. So I figured I would show you where I'm getting these and how to maybe search up a good one that would suit your playstyle. So I have the community page for Avorian pulled up here. So all you have to do is move over to this workshop tab and you'll, it'll bring up like a pretty big search menu. Like there's your most subscribed. So that's a very, like I, I use the ship. I absolutely love it. There's some more recent ones. If you want to see what other people are creating, but we can get into searching for like the type of ship you're looking for. Like if you want to say, I want, um, how about a civilian ship? So this will call up uh, things like miners and traders. Now we've got a whole bunch of things populated on the right here. You can kind of choose what kind of metals are going into the ship. So uh, I want one of the titanium age. So here we go. Now we got a, a civilian class freighter. There's not too much information on it, unfortunately, but hopefully iron and titanium early game. So if you were looking to make an early game freighter, you can click subscribe on this guy. You'll be able to import him into your game. Ships without framework. Um, it's not that they're bad, but not having one, like not having any framework. It's just, I don't understand why. Like it just makes your ship so much more customizable. And you'll see why. So here's some examples, some framework built in. So I'm going to show you what this means, why it's useful. Okay, so we're back in game. We're going to require a shipyard, at least a friendly one, in order to build a ship. Uh, at least according to our current server settings, you can tinker with that. So in your drone, push the B button, you're going to get uh, the founding ship menu. For me, uh, I require nanite or neonite in order to produce the next uh, ship, but I want to make an alliance vessel. We're kind of lacking on those. And I'm going to choose miner. So this is where the name's going to go. I know <laughs> I'm a real creative guy. Hit OK. All right. So push B. You'll access this menu. You could build a ship by hand. Uh, this is your drop down to select the metals you wish to use. You can filter out like uh, shield. It's better if you spell it right. So Xeon shields, or I can say iron. Oh, there are no iron shields. So keep that sort of thing in mind. But so what we want to talk about is importing uh, basically someone else's work. I'm going to quickly scroll through this and find an appropriate one to use. I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so here's the one that I showcased in the earlier part of the video with uh, in, in the workshop. Uh, this one has some framework in it, not tons, but it's still pretty good. Uh, a miner doesn't need to be that big. So this is what the cost's going to be at this current state. Uh, this is the number of subsystems the ship's able to have, but that's a topic for another time. So I've selected the ship. This is what the cost is going to be. Uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit apply design. There we go. So you can even see some of the framework here. But we're going to enter the build menu by pushing B. We're going to enter view, click here, and push F. And now we can see the framework. So this would give us the ability to, say, add a shield generator. Right? So we can select one of these various versions. Uh, this one's relatively cheap. We hold down the left alt and then left click. We can now give a ship that note that did not come with shields, shields. So one other thing we should address, uh, there's a reason why I park next to the space stations when I go to build. I, I want to be able to hire a crew because without a crew, you're pretty much limping through space, attempting to like travel 40 kilometers while your ship's disintegrating because you don't have enough engineers or whatnot. Um, and if you push I, go to crew, auto assign, it will automatically assign crew members. So when you dock with the space station, go to hire crew. Uh, so they auto assigned. Um, I'm going to need a few of those, but we can hire just crew members and they can fulfill that job. 
So the downside to hiring straight up mechanics is that they cost more, but they're more effective. Like a mechanic will do this job better than a crewmate, but a crewmate is much cheaper. So for example, when you're nearing the end of the game, you're in the center of the galaxy, uh, maybe you should stop hiring crewmates and actually hire individuals who are uh, meant for the job because when your shields regenerate quicker and your hull regenerates faster and your cannons are more effective, it makes a big difference. But other than that, I don't see much else to talk about besides maybe reviewing B enters the menu, you'll import your designs from here, you get them from the workshop. In this mode, you can view not just the framework, but you can also look at like what kind of generators, titanium generators. So you could use the same method by finding a generator, hold down Alt, left click, and you can replace that generator with a more advanced version. And so that is custom ships with framework. Uh, you don't need to use the framework. Uh, I don't say, I'm not saying that you should not use a ship that doesn't contain framework. It's just a preference. But hopefully you guys found this helpful and uh, look on the workshop and let those creators who actually know how to make pretty things, let them know they're doing a good job. Anyway, see you all later.